Welcome to another Age of Empires 4 casted game. We have in the color green playing as the Holy Roman Empire. It's Lash. And in the color orange, representing 3D esports, playing as the Chinese. It's be <laughs> the order of that one was really weird, that wasn't it? It's like representing 3D esports, color orange, Chinese B. <laughs> Anyway, uh, welcome back. Welcome back to another another casted games. Uh, we got Lash and B, both very very good players. Of course, B, one of the top eight players in the world. Uh, and by the way, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to, to watch more Age of Empires for content. Now, I don't like to edit videos, and the reason is, to be honest, I don't know the reason why I don't like to edit videos. I just don't like it. And making Age of Empires 4 content for me was a bliss because I always wanted to just show the raw stuff. And what I'm doing here, it's basically, I, I'm just, I just record my screen, you know? I just record my screen. And like that pop out you, you saw from the subscribe, it's just a bottom. And I, I'm having a lot of filters for the microphone and everything that you usually have on your editing video software like Premiere Pro or or you know the other ones and I just don't do that and I, I'm, I'm liking it so far I'm liking it a lot I'm trying to do the same with uh, another g game development channel I uh, I have uh, so I have another channel if, if you don't know about this I have another channel that is uh, currently uh, like 70,000 something subscribers, but that's another topic that's for game development uh, because I used to work for Ubisoft so I like to share my knowledge and and you know uh, game development is still a really big thing for me uh, hopefully uh, when, when I make a game guys I, I'll, I'll let you know I, I'll let you know when, when, I, when I make a game anyway we have this map which I, I don't know why I always forget the name of this map you have a little pond here in the middle that you have four, four shoreline fish. Now you may not think this is a big deal, like if you're a like gold player or you're just starting out or you just want to improve in general. Uh, having this dock here, actually, this you can think of these fishing ships as villagers because they are they they gather resources for you. So it's like having two TCs if you think about it. Now when it comes to the spawn, it's like you don't want to over invest on those ships because as soon as this shoreline fish is gone, then you're left without, you know, technically villagers that cannot do anything. No matter what, take a look at those ships. You can see the fish actually on the ship as you gather more ship fish. And as you gather more, there you go. Oh, you have more fish. Attention to details is all what this game is about so basically uh, it will give you a boost it's like having more villagers you can you can see here we're already 18 villagers against 16 in speed so um, it really helps I'm not exactly sure if they count as villagers here let's let's take a look yeah they do they do they do count so be aging up with the Imperial Academy with one villager most likely gonna get that Song Dynasty soon I already have two villagers there. And Lash, gonna have the Akron Chapel. Beautiful spot here. Uh, gets the... Uh, hopefully gets the sheep, otherwise he can just move it here. Uh, gets the gold, gets the stone, gets the wood here. Uh, so it's a beautiful, beautiful spot for the Akron Chapel. He gets pretty much everything. But it's gonna be very happy with that. B. Delivering the sheep. It's a lot of sheep. I mean, I, I usually say this, but just in case you don't know, sheep is an amazing meat. Amazing. I don't know if you eat it where you live. Uh, I do it here in China. And these are... Uh, sheep is one of my favorite meats, actually. Not like cow. Uh, don't get me wrong. I, I, I like, like... Like a nice beef, like premium beef. Uh, I love it. Uh, but cheap. Uh, it's very cheap. It's very, very tasty. So, uh, still give it a try. 
Got the barbie gun out. But all of the sun actually building here is a very defensive position, actually. And not going too much in front to protect the the berries. Just here, you know, woodline berries, gold. He's gonna be sitting on his base in a gonna have gonna be having the time of his life, actually. Song Dynasty. It's being unlocked for the Chinese, which means they will produce villagers every 15 seconds and not 20 anymore which means he's gonna he's gonna have a better economy the longer the game goes you see like just three fishing ships that's how you need to invest because the more you do like basically these are gonna run out eventually these are not farms so or do, uh, deep deep water fish I use three of them. Three of them. You're good to go. And there you go. Six minutes. Already aging up with the Erechnes Cathedral. Uh, nice, nice timing here. Considering you also went for the water. Uh, really, really nice timing for the Holy, Ro Holy Roman Empire. Stables gonna get built. Meanwhile, B not really interested on walling uh, those relics. It's gonna stay a little bit longer in Fidel. Focus on his economy. It's gonna be a wall in this side of the map. That's a, these kind of walls are a clear indication that, hey, I don't want to fight. I'm just gonna put these walls. Hopefully they lay any kind of attack that my opponent could do. But at this point, Lash already sending the priest to get the relic. I mean, he went out of the chapel, go directly to get the relic. Second TC already going out for B. It's gonna be there on the gold and the berries. Surely you see the Chinese putting the town center next to their own town center because you want, you, you know, your economy to be gathered from these economic buildings just so that you can get the tax and the extra resources that the imperial official give. Uh, let's take a look at this priest. Looks like he's gonna be able to get out with this. Getting the relic that is very far away from him. Gonna be able to get another one here. A scout not gonna be able to do anything. Already getting two relics coming home. It's like B. Not really interested on denying those relics. Like, you know what? I'll let you have it. Just let me... Let me do my same city simulator here. And actually going for Spearman now. Gonna be sending those Spearman to the remaining relics. Fortunately, you know, you're gonna need more than one, so he's he's very well aware of it. It's like the scout is gonna go down for B. Like managed to leave another day. Hey, you don't want to lose the scout. You always want to have information of what your opponent is doing. In the case of his opponent, the Holy Roman Empire, they really have a predictable plan where basically they go castle as soon as possible, they get the relics, and then they, they kick your ass. That's basically their, their plan. Is this Spearman not gonna run? Oh... That was so close. That was so close. It's like the knight. We're gonna fight the spearman here. I'm gonna care. It's like you peasants. A fetal H unit. Actually, I'm just gonna leave you alone here. Looks like B is gonna get away with this two spearmen attacking the priest. Say this the scholar. Sorry, the prelate. An outpost also being built here for Lash. Now, at this point, you, you Lash has two options. Like, he starts attacking, or he goes Imperial Age. And by the looks of this, looks like he's going to Imperial. And now we're already nine, 10 minutes into the game. Let's change to Inconfirmed Minute. 
looks like he will go Imperial very very soon sitting with four relics already looks like the fifth one may also get collected here uh, 12 12 spearmen is, is pretty enough to to deal with this especially with those wounded wounded knights looks like he will have to retreat for now scout goes down basically what's a slap in the face looks like the dock is gonna go down this is the reason why you don't want to over invest into the water it's because there's not like a lot of fish here and if you get denied then you know you're gonna lose your your income a lash going for the deer here lacking some food resources to go to the next age it's a terrible timing actually and B already with 17 spearmen aging up with the astronomical clock tower with 16 villagers these are not ordinary villagers these are Chinese they built really far fast uh, I'm telling you like they really build fast like my neighbor they had like nothing a few months ago and now they have huge buildings next to me and it's really interesting to see the progress of the project that is next to next to my home it's really 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 interesting classic wolf here the real battle is here this ship's actually doing a lot of damage to the spearmen Lash doing a really good job on forcing the battle next to his dog and he's gonna have the man at arms that's a uh, one man at arms is enough to to deal with those but those knights you don't want to lose them hopefully they can go back home get the prelates to heal them and now palace of suave is being built gonna be on the back of his base with 12 villagers and with the Palace of Swabia he will be catching up with the villager count expecting to see an Imperial Age game here a very nice time in 12 minutes and Palace of Swabia you, you're really having a good time here that looks like Lash will attempt to get the last relic and looks like B is not really interested in denying it anymore. He, don't have, he doesn't have the military units for that. I thought it was two boars for a minute. Wolf dies by mistake here. Don't get him from off the boar, never. The Palace of Suavia, the finish. And he starts getting economic upgrades so far all this time. No economic upgrades for Lash. Just getting wheelbarrow, getting horticulture, double broad axe, elite man at arms coming for him soon. Now this is really beautiful timing. Very very good timing. 12 minutes, imperial age, and it's a palace of Swavage. So if you don't know what this is, also known as the love hotel. Palace of Suabia produce villagers every 7 seconds, so that's like having like almost 3 town centers. And with this town center here, you're even producing even more, so it's like having 4 town centers. But the Chinese don't get behind because they have the Song Dynasty and they have 2 town centers already. Let's take a look at B's base. Let's take a look at his production. It's mostly barracks an archer range not gonna be some some cavalry here secret sites gonna be decapturing the south b also aging up at a 14 minute mark not about timing not about timing at all at all the the problem is your opponent has five relics and it's not any kind of opponent it's the holy roman empire and if you don't know about this Holy Roman Empire produces m m more gold actually double the gold compared to other civilizations 
Look at that. Now, tight barn spin research. Have all the resources. Oh my god, that's uh, that's huge. That's huge income for Lash. Pure Lash goes for B. Let's take a look at what is his strategy now. I'm gonna be researching ancient techniques. Increase the gathering rate for each dynasty achieve. So far, it's been. It's gonna be like two dynasties or one. I I I feel like it. It's two, right? Like Tang Dynasty and Song Dynasty. It reminds me of a, of a very funny thing. I have a friend who lives in Shanghai, uh, one of the most expensive cities in the world. And when it comes to real estate, buying an apartment there is like possible. Like it's so expensive. We're talking about millions. And he always jokes that he, he needs, if he wants to buy an apartment there, he needs to work since Ming Dynasty. Lash catching up with the villager count. Look at this farm transition. That's beautiful. Isn't this beautiful? Like, all your farms around the chapel. Now that the sheep actually doing work here. Stone walls gotta be built for Lash in the north side of the map. And the B already have the lead when it comes to the military, so can expect some damage happening here. Villager gonna go down. Unfortunately, he won't be able to finish the wall. This guy is in a mission impossible task. Casual wolf getting stabbed by 1000 villagers. I have a friend who has a wolf actually, like real wolf. I think it's like, it's like when it comes to having a wolf at your home, you can have like percentage of how much wolf you, you have. And I think he has like 70% wolf or something like that. And it's really something because it looks like a dog, but it doesn't look really like, like a dog and he can really eat a lot. He eats a lot and even when you give him the bone, he just crushes it. It's a, such a big... Uh, such a big animal, it's huge, the, the wolf is huge. The dog is, like if you compare like the puck, or the French Bulldog, or the English Bulldog, or, or the Shih Tzu, like how you end up with that? <laughs> like you go from wolf <laughs> to a, to a schnauzer, basically, it's a like, ultimate disrespect for your species actually. Now B, her already not, not really going for the kill, but look at that, the battle in the hill. It's a classic Rom Holy Roman Empire match. It's so straightforward, you know. It's like let's go barracks. Let's go for the kill. That's it. It's like you don't think too much. Man at arms, heavy maces, marching drills. It have the best man at arms in the game. The production is gonna, it's gonna get affected here. Do we see cannon placements on this outpost, but no, no fortified outpost yet. B sending his units. Already a bombard here. Nest of bees. Also there. Looks like Lash is going for it. And Cannoneers actually doing a lot of damage to the, the Man at Arms. Culverine, gonna get sniped here. Villagers didn't manage to kill the covering just in time. Those buildings actually doesn't let me see the battle at all. There you go. Man at arms all over the place. Nest of peace. Bombards attacking the production buildings. Crossbows attacking the man at arms. Magonel going out for Lash here. I have to find a decent shot here.
Look at that, the Magonel of the Hill. Now when it comes to Siege, the... This, the nest of this actually can work very well as a Springle. Uh, it, it works quite well. Uh, you can have like a lot of nest of peace and they can take down sprinkles and they can take down more than one at the same time because they have AoE damage. We see elite dan la la <laughs> I was reading elite dancers here. Elite lancers. What a what a match. What a match here. It's gonna be transitioning to elite lancers. Gonna have a few of those to tank the damage. The, the spearmen are just like a joke here. They are talking about man at arms. Take a look at those guys. No upgrades yet for them. Only range armor. He's gonna look for their range uh, melee attack soon. But those maces. Now two Magonels. Oh, the man the man at arms will get in place. Get out of here, Lancer. Spearman. That's a joke. But the hand cannoneers doing a lot of work here. Meanwhile, let's take a look at Beast Base. Arm transition. Almost complete. Not much production buildings yet for B. Meanwhile, Lash. Arm transition. Almost there. At this point, those two players are stable in their economy. No raids during this match. It's just going directly to Imperial. Hand Cannoneers. Doing a lot of damage. But now, the Man at Arms are already there. Walmart's doing decent damage against those hand cannoneers, but actually the hand cannoneers doing a really good job on doing damage to the bombards. And remember, hand cannoneers for the Chinese are automatically better because they don't need to to research chemistry. If you take a look at this, gunpowder units increase by 20% their attack. So Gunpowder units actually do a, a decent damage against against Siege. The League Lancers look so cool if you think about it. Such a cool unit. Meanwhile, Sacred Sides. No. Sacred Side victory could be a, a choice here for B. He's keeping his opponent in his base. And the problem is, he's doing a really good job. He's putting a keep on the gold. He's already building a wall, which means Lash, it's out of gold. I mean, he has the, the relics, which give him like about almost 800 gold a minute, but you need more than 800 gold a minute if you want to fight in the Imperial Age against the player that has over 2,000 gold a minute. Look at insane eco for the Chinese. More than 3,000 foot a minute. So far, no Yuan or Ming Dynasty yet. Han Cannoneers still doing a very, very good job of pushing. Slow but steady. This is a very interesting map, like, look at that hill. Now more cannon emplacements going for Lash. But the keep will be built and Lash will be out of gold. Be sending more hand cannoneers. He do so much damage. 42 for each hit. Meanwhile, Lash only having 9 barracks. It's gonna be transitioning to Horseman soon, which is definitely the right choice against those hand cannoneers. Look 
Looks like this Bombard's gonna do a lot of damage. Oh my god, look at the damage of the hand cannoneers. They just melt everything. They really melt everything. Like, who needs crossbow where you can have guns? Crossbow is so old fashioned. Meanwhile, Sacred Victory approaching for B. Already captured the Sacred Site in the south. Not surprised if he puts a keep here to make sure it doesn't get the capture. Lash couldn't finish the wall. Meaning B is still pushing on his base. Now Lash is run out of gold. At this point, the five relics are the only thing that is saving him. He's gonna be gonna build the Great Wall of China here. Two layer wall. Still need two walls here if you want to push on the north side, just palisade walls. And now Lash is on pressure. Oh my god, that's a lot of farms. Lash is on pressure. He needs to go out. He needs to decapture the secret sites and he needs access to gold. We are ready with a lot of horsemen. Horsemen and hand cannoneers. That's all he needs. Now the horseman gonna gonna do a quite a decent job against those uh, those outposts actually. Emergency repairs getting called. Looks like it's it's gonna go down. He managed to leave just by a second. Emergency repairs such <laughs> such a broken skill actually. Like, you can, you can just repair pretty much everything. Nice reaction from, from Lash. Already have a Magonel here. B losing a lot of hand, hand cannoneers, but it's actually getting a lot more coming for him. Looks like Lash gonna be getting out of this. Managed to take down the Bombard in about a second. There you go. Spearman, Horseman. Uh, not really the uh, the units you want to have, but the ones you deserve at the moment for not having enough gold. Meanwhile, raids gonna happen here. Mind if we share the gold? Uh, how did he took down this this keep? Uh, I didn't even see that. Sorry about that, guys. Well, more units being gathered here. Oh, that's a lot of horsemen. That's a lot of horsemen. And looks like this gold is gonna run out just as the, just as the villagers. And we see the great wall gatehouse. Gonna be built here in the south. Meanwhile, in the north, there's nothing to protect. Lash should keep going here, but the number of horsemen and can cannoneers combination is just too good. It's too good. Horsemen having the mobility, having a lot of HP, and the hand cannoneers just melting everything that is in front of them. Perushay are gonna get called here. But unfortunately, like there was a lag spy here. Villagers casually destroying the walls. The rams, the rams from the south actually managed to take down the wall. Who needs that great wall gatehouse if if you can just go for the for the south? Flash pushing with more units here, but he still needs some units to defend. Looks like these man at arms are gonna be able to deal with the horseman quite well, but the problem is he still needs to push. No keep here. 
But he's gonna be able to decapture the sacred sites if very easily if he is already there. Come on, Lash. Push a little bit more. Don't worry about that wall. Just push a little bit more. You have a timer here. Meanwhile, more hor more horsemen. Siege culverins. Lash gonna be sending more spearmen. Meanwhile, Lash was already here, but only a, a couple of men at arms. Imperial Palace, gonna get built here. Looks like he's gonna change from Ming Dynasty to Yuan Dynasty. Let's take a look at the Peace Vision. Without the Imperial Palace? With the Imperial Palace. And actually, that, that didn't change anything. Where's Imperial Palace? Actually, not in a, any important position, actually. It's just here. But anyway, he, he used it to change to Yuan Dynasty. Yuan Dynasty actually gives you, I believe, it's smooth speed for everything. Look at this. Elite Horseman, 2.16 tiles a second. These guys are fast. These guys are fast. Sacred type gonna be the capture here. But unfortunately, Lash don't have enough units to decapture the sacred site. It's gonna be sending more. B already starting to trade. 62 gold a minute. Uh, sorry, 62 gold for each trader, not a minute, though, sorry. I'm in big trouble here. Two minutes for a sacred victory. Flash already here. It's gonna put the trebuchet here. It's gonna build a keep. It's sending all the villagers. Gonna build this keep. This keep must go up. Sending all the units here. Looks like the keep got, got cancelled. It didn't get got, it didn't got cancelled. The bomber destroyed the the bomber destroyed the keep. He lost all the resources. He doesn't have enough stuff for another keep. He just needs to send units. Will he have enough units to hold this position? Chevrolet go down. Three bombards actually doing a lot of work here. Lash keep sending units to this position. Let's take a look at his production. Only nine barracks, unfortunately. That's not enough at this point in the game. You have a lot of wood, you can build more barracks. Archery range gonna go. Gonna get built here. But is it gonna be enough? Two minutes for Sacred Side victory. Chemistry gonna it's gonna get researched by Lash. gonna get those hand cannoneers now it's gonna get a little bit harder here B already building a keep building a wall B rushing with the villagers to build that wall if that wall goes up Lash won't be able to decapture the sacred site in the south it's no unit here Lash gonna gonna find Gonna find the stone wall, but he won't be able to finish it. B's army is already here and looks like Lash won't be able to push into the sacred side victory. It's a crazy amount of hand cannoneers here. And Lash taps out, GG gets called. And wow, I didn't expect to see an Imperial game so fast here. I see you in the next one.